Hi everyone, so I chose to do my read aloud lesson plan on the book The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. It was published in 2018 and it is for the grade level um, third grade. So this is a cute little story about a girl and a couple other characters who feel like they don't fit in when they are explaining their summer plans and their summer um, trip that they had gone on over the summer break for school and how the things they do are different from everyone else in their class based on their culture. But in the end, um, they find similarities among each other and recognize that they all bring something wonderful to the table and something so wonderfully different. And so for my read aloud, I use the standards of ask and answer questions about the text and make inferences from text referring to text to support responses, determine the central message, lesson, or moral and literacy text and explain how it conveys in the it's conveyed in the text. Use information gained from the text features to demonstrate understanding of a text, determine the main idea of a text, recount the key details and explain how they support your main idea and support opinion with reasons. So my lesson is geared toward um, explaining the difference between the plot of a story and the theme of a story and how while they both have to do what occurs in the story, they are different. So I thought that those standards really showed what the students would be learning um, while they were going through this lesson. And my objectives for this lesson were to, before listening to a nonfiction picture book, students will make a prediction that they will support with reasons. So I'm going to have them predict what they think will occur in the book, which has to do with the plot of the story. Then while listen to, listening to a nonfiction picture book, students will periodically respond to questions using their knowledge of the text and their personal experiences. This has to do with questions that I will read later to you in my during section. And while listening to a nonfiction picture book, students will identify specifics of the plot of the story. Um, they will be able to pull out different things that have happened, which are parts of the plot. And after listening to a nonfiction picture book, students will draw evidence from the text to determine the central message of the book in support with reasons and evidence that, um, that are from the book. That has to do with my exit slip. The materials I will be, I and the students would be using during this lesson are the book, of course, a whiteboard and marker and eraser as a little warm up activity, an exit slip paper and pencil for them to write their exit slip. So for jumping into the lesson during the before the reading section, I would say to the students um, who would all be sitting on the carpet in front of me next to each other, Everyone, please take out your whiteboards and write the definition of plot. This is assuming um, that how I have already taught them um, plot and theme and other elements of a story. And this is a little refresher. So I would have them write those definitions and hold their boards up to me, to which I would read some aloud and confirm to students and um, students who may not have the exact right to finish and read theirs aloud and correct them in a way that would change their definition to the right answer. I would also do the same thing for the word theme, just so both of those words and the definitions are fresh in their mind for when we read the story. I would then remind them that plot and theme are two elements of a story that we have been working on and how today we will be reading the story the day you begin to you and as a class we will be anal or to you like as in them and as a class, we were analyzing it to determine the plot versus the central meaning, otherwise known as the theme. Um, in third grade, the standards does not use the word theme, but I think it is um, important for the students to know that when I am talking about central meaning, um, the overarching uh, storyline and what the they get from the story, that is the theme. So I had decided to use the word theme in my lesson. Um, I will then hold up the book where they can see the title page, 
Um, well, first the front cover, the title page, and the dedication page. The de dedication page has a picture of one of the characters sitting in her window reading a book, um, which has to do with the story. So I would um, ask them based on the cover and the pages that I'm showing, what do you think occurs in the story? What do you predict is the theme of the story? And then have them turn to someone who is sitting next to them and talk about it. I would give the students a couple minutes to um, talk with each other and then have a couple of them raise their hand volunteer to share their thoughts and just here have me and the students hear um, what they are thinking based on what they've seen so far. For the during section, while I'm reading the book, I will stop at page six where it says that there will be times when no one will understand the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We moved from here from Venezuela, and because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. I will then ask the students after reading that section, so far we have introduced, been introduced to Rigoberto, who is made fun of because of the way he speaks. Has anything ever like this happened to you before? Then I would give them time to share with a partner and talk about it. This gets them um, connecting to the story and to the plot and then gives them, um, they don't know the theme yet, but they're able to connect with the theme and um, feel it for themselves through this. And then would stop at page 12 and ask, or in where the text says, and in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your empty hands and wonder, what good is it when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? That is when I, the teacher, would ask, what do you think the character was feeling? And what do you think the, or why do you think the author didn't explicitly say how she was feeling? And then again, I would give them time to share their thoughts with a partner, someone who was sitting next to them. It could be the same person, it could be a different person, and then allow um, a couple of students to share their thoughts again, just so um, everyone can hear what other people were thinking other than just their partner. I then would get to page 22 where it says, all that stands besides you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you are ready for. I would then ask, what has occurred so far in the story and what do you think will happen? and then allow time for discussion. This one gets them thinking about the plot, um, where previously the questions they've been asked have been about the theme. This one will get them thinking um, about specific details that they've read so far, or I've read to them. And lastly, when I read to the end of the text, the last section ends with, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else not so fabulously not quite like you at all. I would ask, what does the text on this, what does, um, oops, I meant to say, what does the text on this last page, I meant to say page right here, mean to you in relation to the story? I would have students share their thoughts and anyone who wants to say what they felt it meant to them can share with the class because I think it's really important for students to hear what other students have to say and see other viewpoints of how they interpreted it. And now that the story is wrapped up, I would finish up by saying this section here with all stories have a central message, what we call a theme and a plot, but they are not the same thing. As we discussed before we read, the plot is the storyline, what occurs to the characters in the book, and the theme is the deeper meaning or moral of the story. It is important to be able to decipher from the two from each other while reading a story because you don't want to miss out on the lesson the book has to offer. I also want to make it clear that the message that you got from the story may not be the exact same as the message with the person sitting next to you. Um, and that's okay. The message is meant to be interpreted and will be interpreted, um, and we all interpret things differently based on understanding, our understanding of the story and our life experiences. Um, so with that, I just want them to know that as they heard other people's understandings, that books don't explicitly say them because they are open for interpretation, and that is the beauty of books. We all get something a little bit different from them, so I just want to make that clear to the students. And then I'll finish by introducing their exit slip to them, where I will tell them I want to know what message or deeper meaning that they took away from the story. And so on their exit slip, I will ask them to write what they interpreted the message as the story from the story as and why. I want them to use evidence from the book to explain their answer. 
so I can see that they're not just taking an answer from another student who shared out loud or that they are just guessing rather than um, rather that they have ed evidence that they saw in the book and that they really internalized and um, interpreted in their own way. Lastly, I will assess them on the observations of while they are talking um, during the read aloud and their exit slips. So I would be sure to keep my eye on the discussions, listening to um, different groups and every student to hear um, what they have to say, also to make sure that they are engaging and that it's not just a one-sided conversation between their partners, rather um, all students are actively participating and um, sharing critical thoughts, critical thinking, um, and deeper thinking than just, oh yeah, I liked that, or saying I agree with their partner. And then I would read the exit slips to see what they took as the deeper meaning of the story. And um, based on the deeper meaning, I think I'll be able to determine whether they comprehended the story um, and whether or not they understand the difference between plot and theme. So I will use that to gauge and assess the students on the takeaway from the lesson and how much they understand theme, plot, and deeper meaning of the story. My references are the PA Core Standards website and my book. And that is my read aloud lesson. I hope you've enjoyed and I'm open to any feedback.